Let's talk salty to him. This is, for me, the difference maker for the Miami Dolphins this year. Okay, Rich. Boy, you're really telling tales out of school, saying in a quarterback-driven league, it's all on the quarterback's shoulders. No. What I'm saying is if Tua Tungo-Vailoa shows up edgy, salty, what if he's got a little stubble, right? What if he's got a little stubble? He's not going to shave, right? <laughs> right? He's going to start showing up like Barry on HBO, right? That would be awesome. You know what I mean? Just show up, a thousand-yard stare. I know he's got smile. He's one of those perpetually lovable guys. He shows up salty. Remember that when he was, that video that came out that the Miami Dolphins actually tweeted out of him throwing a wobbly pass and hitting Tyreek Hill. Wobbly and underthrown. And, 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 and Tyreek slowed down to uh, catch it. And yeah. it's just like, you know, to a bomb to, uh, <laughs> to Tyreek, googly eye. What the f***? It appears that the sports journals these days, the sports media, is nothing but a snake pit of snark and disdain, especially in regards to the Miami Dolphins. I get it. We're all immersed in the new media. And the hot take culture is much more profitable than traditional reporting. The stat junkie reporting, that's over. It, it's gone forever. There's going to be a few people who really want to dig into stats, but it seems as though the hot take culture is completely taken over. I see podcasts on Spotify and Apple and YouTube where a bunch of guys are digging into stats and what's the yards per carry and yards after catch and how many touchdowns and... Ah, nobody cares. The masses don't care about stats anymore. They're not agonizing over every single throw, every single reception, every single sack. That's just not what the masses are looking for anymore. And that's why the sports journalism industry has turned into nothing but hot takes. But if you're going to do a hot take, can you at least be honest? Does everything you spew in regards to the Miami Dolphins and Tua, does everything have to be a denigration, a joke, Something where, you know, you're just making fun of Tua and the Miami Dolphins. Is that all you guys got? Here's a stat for you. There are 32 teams in the NFL. And guess what? 31 of them failed last year. And yes, the Dolphins were one of them. At least I can be honest. But we're now entering into a new season. And I just don't understand why these guys are relying on this hot take culture to fuel their views and clicks. Well, actually I can because they're worried they're worried because of the new media that's out there, fueled by guys like Pat McAfee, who are just paving a new path for all of us to get involved in the sports game. Who wants to hear this kind of clowning for the next six or seven months? <laughs> right? And we were, everyone had their fun with it, and then two showed up and goes, hey, did everybody catch that video today? Everybody catch that? Didn't get a video of that? Sh the other, the one I threw and hit Tyreek in the hands, anybody get that? And we're like, yeah, salty to it, baby. Look like Mike. Salty Tua, baby. That's what Rich Eisen has to say about Tua. He's been saying it for a few months, but all he's got is Salty Tua. The guy's going into a full NFL season, and it's a joke to guys like Rich Eisen. The me. Salty Tua. That's going to be the guy who shows up. He's going to show up and start beating you. With his saltiness and his <laughs> cheetah and his college teammate Waddle. And his head coach, who's taking selfies with the media today, as he did. Why does it bother them? Why does it bother them that Mike McDaniel was taking selfies with the media today? Why? Because it's different. It's not something they're used to. He sat with a bunch of people who aren't Rich Eisen, who aren't, you know, the big name media types. And he's getting them, he's bringing them together. Why? Because you guys are making fun of his players. You guys aren't... You're not representative of the masses anymore. It's it's incredible. Let's listen to some more of this drivel. Mike McDaniel. Oh, yeah, baby. Salty Tua. He was asked about the criticism he's received in the non-playing season today. Let's roll it. So he's about to show Tua's answer to some really good questions at, the, at a recent press conference here in Miami at training camp. Listen to this. Uh, well... I don't know any of those guys, so I, I mean, it, if, they, if that's what they have to say, then good for them. That's probably 
probably a good thing for for them to to say they draw people for clickbait or i don't know whatever whatever that is exactly two is not playing that game i'm not worried about what you have to say i don't know you you're just trying out you're out there trying to get clickbait trying to get views trying to get clicks and you're not covering sports you're making snarky comments like salty tua um but i to me, if, if I can't hear you, then you're, you're not that important to me. If you're in Boom. If I can't hear you, you're not that important. That must drive journos nuts that a guy like Tua doesn't care what you have to say. My circle and I can hear you, what you're saying. And obviously, you got to be extremely important to me. So if I can't hear it, then it's probably not important. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't like that at all. If, if I don't hear you, if I'm not reading what you're saying, I'm not on, on, on social media, I'm not on Twitter, I'm not following your BS, you're, you're irrelevant to me. That's what Tua said. And these guys don't like that. And Tua, can I, can I give two unsolicited cents here? Oh, of course. Thank you for, uh, for that permission. Man, you have a Tua, yes. Tua, Tua, get nastier. And don't crop that beard so much. Just let it grow a little bit. Have you ever seen, you know, guys like Rich Eisen tell Aaron Rodgers he's got to cut his hair? But not that you haven't heard that. Have you heard them say, you know, hey, Patrick Mahomes, I, I don't like that fade thing you got going on. Nope, haven't heard then. How about, let's say, I don't know, hey, Carson Wentz, your hair's too red. Why don't you dye that and look a little bit better? But you feel comfortable saying that about Tua, don't you? I have to wonder why. Anyone know why? Start staring at people after you actually give an answer like this, like this. Who are these people? Because you don't need this garbage. And that's absolutely true. He made a joke about it, but it's actually true. Tua doesn't need the garbage. Tyreek doesn't need the garbage. No player needs this kind of garbage where you're making fun of his beard and whether or not he's groomed correctly. That's where you're going? We're entering training camp and we're getting ready for a new season and you're talking about how a beard looks? You're kidding, right? Hot takes have turned these guys into court jesters. They're no longer reporting. They're out there clowning around, trying to get clicks, trying to get views, trying to make money on ads. They're no longer on a television network. He might be on NFL network once in a while but they're not seeing those big dollars anymore. They're not seeing Pat McAfee kind of dollars, no chance. And it's driving these guys crazy. Why would Rich Eisen spend so much time talking about salty Tua? Because he can, he can get away with it. There's a, there's a huge amount of people out there that hate Tua, hate the Miami Dolphins, and just embrace this stuff. They embrace the insults. If you've been on Twitter, you know, there's a whole underbelly, a whole current of people who are just the slimiest people. There's a legion of idiots out there that hate Tua and the Miami Dolphins. They even hate our lifestyle down here. The Dolphins can go 5-0 and at the start of the season and it won't matter. It'll be someone else that gets a credit. It won't be Tua. They're not going to say Tua turned it around and he's really a good quarterback. That's never going to happen. They're not going to eat that kind of crow. They're going to say because he's got an amazing cast of characters around him. That's why he's winning. He won't get any credit for what he's doing. Hating Tua is too profitable. The word is out. Making fun of Tua sells. And it burns their ass that Tua said, screw off. I don't know you. I don't care what you have to say. I'm not even on Twitter. That just drives them nuts. Because indifference to the media will not be tolerated. They are not going to accept him not caring what they have to say. And to show you how this is infecting the sports media world. I have another video coming out tomorrow where another sports journal is basically doing the same thing to Tyreek. You won't believe it. All he does is insult him, denigrate him, and basically call him a gold digging liar. I mean, it's that bad. Wait till you see this video tomorrow. But that's all I got to say for this one today. Rich Eisen, I can't believe you're just becoming a hot take court jester, a stadium jester. It's really unbecoming. I expect more out of a professional broadcaster like you. But hey, maybe the game's changed and that's why people are watching my videos. If you like this video, please go ahead and check out one of these two videos here about the Miami Dolphins. Let's change the game. That's something Mike McDaniel said. Let's change the game. Not only 
with the Miami Dolphins, but with who you follow and who you watch on YouTube. And I thank you for watching. And again, check out one of these two videos. Talk to you soon.